Hello. Um, <clears throat> this is to confirm that the Toshiba satellite R750 does work with the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle USB 3. Um, I have here an older Sony uh, camera. Model is HDR HC3. It is connected via HDMI. To the shuttle, as you can see, the shuttle is connected via USB 3 naturally. There's all the cables. To the laptop, the laptop, as you can see, is displaying my picture there. And um, I will now record just a little bit as soon as I put in some settings. Naturally, it will only record uh, in motion JPEG as the storage subsystem, which in this case is a Hitachi 750 gig hard drive spinning at only 5,400 RPM, is not obviously c capable of capturing anything more than motion JPEG. Uh, here we go. Overwrite, because I was doing this before. And there you go, as you can see, it is recording <coughs> in motion JPEG. So this is to confirm that the Toshiba satellite R750 is compatible with the Intensity Shuttle. Um, I'll quickly show you the other specs of this laptop. It is a Sandy Bridge based laptop. Um, once this program closes, wakey wakey. I'm just going to pull up Device Manager and give a quick rundown on the specs of the laptop. Okay, Bluetooth, yada yada, display adapters. We have onboard Intel HD graphics as well as NVIDIA GeForce GT 540M. Uh, processors, okay. There is a Sandy Bridge i7 2630QM running at 2 GHz. It looks like it's a 4 core 8 thread CPU. Uh, Realtek high definition audio. It's got an inbuilt Toshiba USB DVB T analog hybrid tuner, which is pretty much a TV card for high definition and analog TV uh, reception. Whoops, and there we have the Renasus Electronics USB 3 host controller and root hub for the USB 3. Hence why it works, because it is a Renasus chip, which is confirmed as compatible with the Intensity Shuttle. The rest of this rig specs are nothing special in any sense. It is 8GB of RAM, and the operating a 64-bit. So they have it. Toshiba Satellite R750 compatible with the Intensity Shuttle. Thank you very much.